Hello everyone and welcome back to Exam Prep Solutions. Today we have another practice problem. We're going to be doing a statics practice problem, working on our forces in two dimensions and then using some angles to find tension in a rope. So we have a diagram here <clears throat> down below. I'm going to pull it up a little more. You can see it. So find the tension in a rope T1 based on the diagram seen below. So we have T1, T2, those are the different tension values in the rope. We have a 45 degree angle and a 30 degree angle, and then a five kilogram uh, mass here that's pulling both the ropes down. And so we want to find the tension in this rope here, T1. And so how do we go about doing that? Well, we're going to want to solve the forces in the X and Y direction and then use that to find the tension in the rope. So let's begin. So if we want to solve some of the forces in the X direction, equals. Now let's think about this here. We have T1 and T2. Those are forces going in the x direction. T1 is pulling in the negative direction. So we have T1 times the cosine of 45 degrees plus, and that's actually going to have a negative sign since that's pulling in the negative direction. Plus here we've got T2 and that's going to be times the cosine of 30 degrees. So those are the only forces going in the x direction. The five kilograms is in the y direction. So if we go sum of the forces in the y direction this time, well, we have that five kilograms going down. Now remember, that's just kilograms, not necessarily um, uh, newtons or force. So we need to times that by 9.81, which is the value for gravity. That'll get us uh, the newton value. And then we have T1 still. Now both of these are going upwards in the positive direction working against that five kilogram force or holding it up, I should say. Then we have sine of 45 there. And then we're also gonna have plus T2 times the sine of 30. These are both of our equations. Now we have two equations and we have two unknowns. That means we can solve for the unknown that we're looking for. Let me, let me spell all unknowns correctly here. Okay, two equations, two unknowns. We're trying to find T1. So we want to solve the sum of the forces in the x direction equation, equation in the terms of T1 so that we can substitute it into the sums of the forces of the y direction equation and then actually find the value for T1. So here, we calculate what the cosine of 45 is. We see it's 0 0.707, the cosine of 30. Let's calculate that. 0.866, so we're going to have a negative 0 0.707 times T1, the tension in our row plus 0 0.866 times T2 equals zero. And both these equations equal zero since the body is not moving. It's a static body. So now we want to find what T2, we actually want to solve for T2 so we can use the terms of T1 to then solve for the tension in the rope. So here's what we're going to do here. 0 0.707 T1 equals 0 0.866 T2 since we moved it to the other side. Now 0 0.707 divided by 0.866. That's going to equal 0.8164. And so meaning T2 equals 0.8164 T1. So now we can take T2 out of the equation in the sum of the forces of the y direction equation. First, we need to calculate negative five times 9.81. That's going to equal negative 49.05. We have negative 49.05. Now we have plus. We still don't know T1, but T1, but we do need to find the sine of 45 degrees. 0 0.707 again. And now we know that the T2 equals. 0.8164 T1. There's a lot of math in this one. Hopefully you're following along with it. A lot of operations we need to go through. So 0.8164 T1 and then that's going to be time 
the sine of 30. And that value is, I'll calculate down here, sine of 30 equals 0.5. We go back to here. That's all going to equal zero. Now we can solve for T1 and find the tension in that first rope. So now we get 49.05 equals, and it's going to equal this big mess here. First, I want to see 0.8164 times 0.5 is going to equal 0 0.4082. Really, it's going to be 0 0.707 plus 0 0.4082. And those both have T1. And so I'm going to solve that real quick here. One point one one five. It's forty nine point oh five divided by one point one one five two. That's going to equal forty three point nine eight newtons in T1. So I'm going to be going with C for the answer for this problem. So there's a lot of steps in that one. What we need to do is set up both of our force equations, making sure we're including the cosine and sine of each of the values since they have x and y components, finding the two equations with two unknowns, solving for one tension in terms of the other, substituting it back into the equation, and then just using some algebra to find the final value.